A dangerous dispute. Less than a year after being released from prison, a South Florida man finds himself behind bars accused of stabbing a florist. NBC6 reporter Alyssa Hyman is live in Little Havana tonight with the details. Alyssa. Well, that florist told police he's had issues with this man in the past for hanging around his flower stand, but that dispute escalated yesterday when he says that man showed up with a knife ready to attack, an attack that was captured by nearby surveillance cameras. Surveillance video shows the frightening moment when a Miami florist was attacked by a man with a knife. You can see the florist retreating as the man with the knife makes slashing motions towards him, ultimately cutting the florist in the neck and on the forearm, according to police. The florist was selling flowers at a stand in Little Havana off Northwest 22nd Avenue and Northwest 7th Street. Investigators arrested and charged this man, Felix Perez, for the attack. Sir, you are arrested for one count of attempted second degree murder. He appeared in bond court Wednesday where we learned Perez had only recently been released from prison in October after serving nearly 16 years for another crime. According to the arrest report, the victim and Perez have had an ongoing dispute about Perez hanging out around the flower stand. The report says the day before this happened, the victim had to call police after an argument with Perez. Prosecutors in court asking the judge for a more serious charge. In the affidavit, the victim says that the defendant stated before the attack, I am going to attack now and kill you. So I think based upon that statement, there's enough for an attempted first. There's probable cause for attempted first degree murder, no bond. And you heard the judge there saying no bond for the defendant. Now, according to the arrest report, the victim will need stitches for the stab wound in his arm. But he was, according to the arrest report, able to talk to police and tell them what happened. For now, we're live tonight in Little Havana. Alyssa Hyman, NBC6 News.